It is 2018. This is our first podcast of 2018. Um, and so it's only right that we're going to talk about all of the things that happened in 2017 in the way of video games that came out. Yes, this is our Game of the Year podcast. My name's Matt. I am joined by an expert, a small but expert elite crew of video game experts. Experts of experts, okay? We're the most experts <laughs> of all experts. Got Directly to my right, Austin. What's up? How's it going? Just to his right, we've got Jason. Hello. And to my left, Manny in the computer. What's up? DJ. That's me. Um, so this is this is exciting. It was our first year that we were recording a podcast. We did it almost all year. We started in March. March 1, actually. Yes, exactly. Two days before the Switch came out. As a whole, I'd say 2017 was really a fantastic year for games. It was a it was a really big year. It I mean, was. even going through the list of like all the games that came out, I'm like that's a that's just a lot. So. And these are just the games that we played. Yeah, these aren't like all the games. So yeah. so there was there was a lot of stuff. So here's how our game of the year is going to work. We're going to split this up into three rounds. Uh, round one is we're going to go through all the games that we played. Uh, we compile the list ahead of time, and we're just going to go through, and we're going to decide if we think that that is good enough to make it to the next round. Um, and then after it makes that, like, the second round, I think, is where the, the real bulk of the arguing is going to come about. Um, in the second round, we're going to weed that list down to 10. Um, and then round three is we're going to order that 10. So um, the way this is going to work is we're just, we're just going to have to argue about the games, basically. We, we want to make our points about the game, why we think that it was good enough to make a top 10 list. Even if you don't think it's in the top 10 and you want to see it go into round two, fight for it. I think that's safe. Um, and because you never know what's going to happen. Windjammers could be game of the year. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so just uh, though. Now, there's a couple of rules about this. First of all, the game has to have come out in 2017. And when we're talking come out, we mean like actually come out. Um, no, no early, early access. access. No early access <laughs> games. Uh, no remasters unless it was a huge overhaul. So, like, I think of like the Final Fantasy VII game. Um, I feel like that's going to be a new game. Like, yeah. it's obviously not in this category yeah. right now. But something like that is good. Um, no downloadable content, stuff like that, unless, again, it is substantial enough to really have changed the game. I know there's one on here that I don't know if anyone's going to argue for, but is kind of that. It's open to all games. Console games, PC games, mobile games, uh, handheld games, uh, whatever. So I say... We just get into it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to do it in order from first release of the year to the last. And again, these are games we played. If a list, if a game that was is on here that we didn't like, if we didn't play a game that was released in 2017, it's not on this list. Yes. So, so. I'm sure um, we've, we've missed quite a couple of them. Right. Some, I mean, some big we can't ones. Play every single. It's game. hard. Uh, so we, don't be mad. We're, we're college students. Yes. Don't be mad at all because this is all stupid. Like, how dare you not have my favorite game on there? Sorry. I'm already don't, mad. Don't insult our listeners. <laughs> uh, so let's start with the first game uh, that I played this year. Night in the Woods. I think, uh, obviously, I think this game needs to go through. Yeah, I'd absolutely uh, I agree. <laughs> It's it's incredible. Uh, it's uh, funny because was it actually your first game you played this year? No, uh, okay. I actually waited until December because this is the last game I played mm. this year. <laughs> um, it's up there for me. No, I mean this is it's such a good game. I love May as a character mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I myself am a whiny, depressed millennial. Well, aren't we all? Yes, exactly. That's I think that's why everybody in this room likes likes. Uh, I thought <laughs> you and I thought you like Greg. I love Greg. Greg rules. I got cups on my ears. <laughs> Greg crimes. is the best character. Crimes? You want to do crimes? Honestly, he's one of the best characters, I think, I think of all years. He, he was great. What was Greg? 
crazy. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know like what the gender are of these animals. You don't really know. Well, I think I think make May, it more clear as it goes on. Yeah, yeah, I think May is the one that people are kind of like. Well, May is a girl. Yeah, they've specifically. The said, mom mother said, says, yeah. my oh, daughter." Okay. So yeah, I was like confused until she's like, "My daughter." I'm like, "Oh, nailed it." And honestly, so this is like I think a uh, revolving theme this year that I wasn't really expecting, but I think like uh, sexuality in games uh is has been really well explored this year and not in inappropriate ways but like um i think for the lgtb community mm -hmm. i think there has been more characters because may lies in that on yeah. that spectrum as well right um, and you kind of explore it throughout the game uh and i thought that was kind of really cool because it, it never felt overwhelming either they put it in there in ways that it's like you realize it, but they don't try to make it seem not normal. But they're not, right. they're not trying, not they're normal not trying, they're not trying to be preachy. They're not trying to throw anything in your face. Well, and it's, it's just like it's this, just this a part it. of life, this right? Is it. This is yeah. It's it's it feels natural and a part of life. Uh, so I, I say at least to the next round, if not the obviously. Final round. Cool. I um, that. I think that was I'm that was that. unanimous. Uh, so know. anything. I haven't, I haven't played the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was debating on. Uh, just do that. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was debating on getting the game during the autumn sale, and uh, I was kind of sitting there, and I ended up buying Wolfenstein instead. Mm. Um, oh, that's a fair trade. No. Yeah, I mean they're trade. very different games, but <laughs> yeah, I, I still want to I still want to get the game. It's just I. It's on the winter sale right now. Yeah. So I definitely so that's why I'm it. probably gonna get it as soon as I go home. Definitely worth it. It's fun. All right. Game number two. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes. I'm just... I mean, yes. I think yeah. all of us are really in unison on that one. Yeah. It's... I think that Aloy was one of the best characters of the year. Absolutely. I Did she... Did they... Did she win a game of the year or game awards this year about that? I think the act... No. I think she was eligible for, like, mocap. Stop. Which no, she got character nominated for character of the year too. Well, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know if she won or not. Yeah, I don't. I don't really remember. Quality journalism here. Uh, we are professionals, uh, and it doesn't matter. Don't even look. Don't even. No, I want to know. No, because this is our list. I just want to know if it's character of the year. No, uh, no. See, but then, then they're influencing your your no, decision. It's not. I don't know. I think it's already. All three of us have already been like, yeah, so it's not influencing our decision. I, if we've I feel like we're that. arguing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to argue about something. Eh, not important. Let's just keep moving on. All right, okay. next game, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will fight for this one. This one was incredible, and I say it needs to Honestly, be Honestly, right I haven't now. played it, you haven't played it, I don't think you played, played it, it, and I think we're going to agree with you. <laughs> that's that's the tough part about this. So the only person here that owns a Switch is Jason. Yeah. And I will fight to the death. Like literally. Uh, well, okay, so it's going through. So okay. that's fine. Here we go. I'm just kidding. We can't just let every game go through, though. I know. Well, <laughs> well the problem is this year came out swinging. With yeah, it games. really did. The beginning of the year was with Horizon a and lot Zelda. It was just it was it was a big front load of the of the year. Not every game is gonna make it through. Yeah. So don't worry. Snipper clips. I have no idea what that is. I. No it's fun, but I wouldn't say game of the year. Yeah. No, I wouldn't put this in the, in the next round. Disc jam. Same way. Yeah. It I was like, so fun, and but I got bored of it eventually. Yeah. I liked Dick, Disc Jam a lot when it first came out, it was but fun. I jumped off of it so fast. Well, yeah. we haven't played it in months. Like, we right. played it, I think, for like the month it I was out. It. Oh, mm -hmm. did you? Or well, we yeah. played it for like the month it was out, because I know you maybe downloaded the alpha or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And then it came out on like the PlayStation right. Plus for free, and we all got it. And we played it for a month, but then I haven't Definitely. played it since. It was fun, but it wasn't like game of the year contention. Yeah. No. Ghost Recon Wildlands. I say yes for me. I don't know if anyone else has played the game, but... I think the hype was there when I first started playing it, and then I just got really bored. So it just was like a two-week cool thing, and then I was like... It didn't have that replayability for me, so I don't think it's... For me, it's not going to go, go on to the next one. See, I love like the whole tactical shooter kind of gameplay. So like, people always complain, oh, it's boring, but I'm like, actually... But I really enjoyed... Having to sit on a mountain and just sniping people and like while well, my teammate would run around and like in the facility and like 
slowly take people out. It was like for me, I it was the game I was looking for, and it it worked really well. The game was beautiful. I mean, the like, the fake Bolivia country that they made was really nice. All the zones were like super different, so like I thought it was pretty well done. Um, yeah, so that's my fight for it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. This actually did make my personal top ten. So well, we can make an argument for that next round then. Yeah, we can move it forward. Um, yeah. Near <laughs> near automata. Uh so okay, I I have played Near when the demo came out, uh and it just it just kind of dropped and was really surprising. Um and I loved it. But the game was so overwhelming that I never got to it. Um, well, it came out at a weird time with like other games. To think you ended up setting it to get Mass Effect instead was your thing. I well, it's kind of maybe. I'm trying to remember. I think maybe price. This, this was later. I was this like was like about spending the money. This was like third week of March. I think is when this came out. It's like obviously you just bought Horizon. I think you're probably right. And I think you were like, should I get near or should I get Mass Effect? And you went Mass Effect. And oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Matt's, uh, Matt's yeah. the t top 10 mistakes of 2017. The There's number one. Okay. So I like near a lot. Um, it is, I think it's an awesome game, but I've only played a couple hours of it. And so I don't have any good arguments for it. Yeah, I haven't played it at all. It looked That's fun. About the it. stuff I've heard about it was really cool, but I've never played it myself. So right. I have no idea. And. Same, same exact comments. <laughs> so I think we're not going to push Nier through because of that, which is a shame. Because it should be probably in It Pop probably Pandas. should be. Rest in peace. Um, sorry, Nier. Uh, it's going to be one of my first 2018 games. Absolutely. Yeah. I think now's the time to buy it because not, not much is doing, going on until probably late February. I, mean, I think you can get it pretty cheap, too. Um, like I said, I've got a couple hours into it, but... Sorry, Nier. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda does not deserve to be a video game <laughs> at all, period. Uh, and in fact, if I could like put this on the other side of the like list and be like the worst game ever created by man, <laughs> it, there's like E.T. <laughs> And then Mass oh, we're going Effect. way back, to, way wow. back to ET, huh? That's um, saying something. So you Mario think they Sunshine. should? You think they should go bury this in the Mojave Desert? Is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. They took one of the greatest franchises of all time and slaughtered it. No. Yeah. This is the Indiana Jones four of video <laughs> games. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, that bad. Just don't look. It I, is. It, it was bad. Yeah, it was actually one of my top ten like most disappointing games. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For twenty seventeen. Probably disappointing and just top ten worst. Well, no, this so is not in my top ten. This is number one. Yeah. Well, I was so hyped too because like I bought the digital deluxe edition, paid like the eighty or whatever bucks <laughs> for it, but I was like so excited. Another Mass Effect game, and then. All that crap came out two weeks before. I was like, "Oh, it'll be fine. It'll they'll buff it out. Then no big deal." <laughs> and I start playing, and all that stuff happens while I'm playing the game, and I wanted to die inside because I realized I just spent ninety dollars on a game that sucks because I put thirty hours into it, and I was like, "No, I can't do it anymore." Well, I amazed you at least put thirty hours into it. From what I heard, people were like just couldn't get past like the opening. It's it was really tough. That's I didn't put about that's about where you you got you got through the beginning part and that was about it. Yeah, you know I played a little bit of when yeah. the game starts having substance yeah. and it just wasn't it wasn't enough. So I watched a little bit of you play and it was just like what. And it, again, uh, and it's funny, uh, like everybody talks about the graphics and stuff. I don't think that's the problem at all. Um, I, I I still believe that it was about the story. Well, the story was just from what I've from what I've seen, the dialogue great. between characters and stuff was just bad, and like childishly bad. Like a third grader wrote the dialogue at times. This is like, what are they trying to? Are they, were they trying to be like funny and edgy here? Because it just did not work out. Yeah, they had like twelve hundred voice actors too, and I was like, why? Why? That was just a waste of budget for me. I was like, that sucks. Huh. So, which now Mass Effect is put on ice. It's on hiatus. I don't know. Yeah. It we'll could see. be dead forever. Thanks. Thanks, Andromeda. Uh, that's my thoughts on that. Everything. I, I, I'm the only one who played everything. I think so. 
played everything. <laughs> um, it got nominated for an Oscar. I mean, that's how good this game is. I like it. Was this. super interesting from what I've watched. I like this game a lot. So what you were watching is not much different than playing. <laughs> yeah. Um, in fact, the game actually had an has an autoplay feature. That's where you Oscar. just put you put your controller down and it just plays itself. Oh wow. Uh, it's a really fascinating game. I don't think it stands up in this list. Uh, for me, I thought it was super cool, um, especially like before you get into the like major game. There's like this like big long prequel about it, and at the end of it, I just wanted to call my mom and cry. Well, I remember when we were playing because like you had it going on on PlayStation, but then you're playing like something on PC. I don't really remember what was going on. And you're like, I'm having an existential crisis, just yes. freaking out. Like, I'm a cell! And then you kept talking about being like a dancing goat. I don't know. And then you're like, I'm a tree and I'm dancing in circles. And I was like, what are you playing? Everything. Everything. <laughs> and then of course he's like, we are everything. Yeah, it really, it really did some stuff for me, but I don't think, I don't think it really needs to go on. I don't, I mean, there's no way it's going to be in top ten, so I won't fight for it past that. Um, Thimbleweed Park. Again, am I the only one who played this? I played a little bit. It was okay. I kind of went in with these expectations because I'm a huge like Lucas Arts game okay. fan, and Monkey Island was like for the longest time my top series. I love that series. But this one, it just kind of fell flat for me. I I need to sit down and play it some more, but it just fell flat. That's all there is to it right now. That's kind of how I felt. I mean, I'm not as big of a fan of that that kind of game, but um, I was expecting a lot more from it. Yeah, it, it was it was quirky, and there were some good parts in it. Mm -hmm. It just never kept me. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the difficulty in a story driven game like that. Yeah. So. All right, well, that doesn't go forward. Drawn to Death <laughs> no. was a bad game. I, d I only did not play that because you said how bad it was. It was even free, and I still didn't play it because you said how bad it was. I think I even picked it up after you started talking about it. Yeah, I mean, I remember you talked about it on our show, like, I guess it was April. It was the April lineup for PlayStation, and you're like, it's you're just bad. It was, it was a bad game. Uh, I tried way too hard. Uh, Parappa the Rapper Remasters should not be on this list. Um, <laughs> I just want to mention that Parappa the Rapper came out in 2017, and that's amazing. Uh, and it's still, to this day, is a terrible rhythm game. <laughs> it was just, never precise enough. It, it's it's so imprecise. It's really never even heard of it. It's really. Super I remember tough to playing play. this back <laughs> when I first got my PS1. It came. It was in the demo disc. Back when those you get the demo disc of like mm -hmm. twenty some games, it was the first rap against Onion Head, and like I played that a ton. Oh, Onion Head was a great rap, and I played it a ton. Like so, like this has like a special piece of my heart. Kick punts, it's all in the mind. Yep. Kick <laughs> punch. I mean, I got good at it back then, but like obviously with the remaster, they didn't like update the timing from the PS One days. So Which, it's, it's a rhythm game. Like it's still, every game does that well if they make it a rhythm game. How it, can you not? Update yeah. That? So it's it's just bad for that reason, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. But you get to see some 2D paper characters in like mm -hmm. HD resolution, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. it's a plus. <laughs> uh, Persona 5. Again, I love this series, and I will absolutely fight for this one. All right, let's push it through. <laughs> I, I only played a couple minutes of it, so I can't say too much I'm about not, it. See, I don't know. Like, I like JRPGs, but like I... I'm weird with them sometimes, and this is this was never like I was never different. I was never a fan of Persona games. Like they always looked weird to me, so I don't know. Well, I will fight for it. I, I, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my I haven't played it personally, uh, but my roommate has, and he absolutely loves it. And just yeah. from like hearing the soundtrack and everything else too, it's like one of the coolest soundtracks yeah. I've ever heard. It's a super and good just, soundtrack. Like it yeah. should it should probably be top soundtrack. It is like one of the most hyper stylized games I've ever played. It's you're incredible. absolutely right about that. Absolutely. All right, so you, Persona 5 goes through. Ukulele. Um, ukulele was kind of disappointing in my mind. I had fun with it when I played it, but it just... It became well, I heard that issues so like repetitive. You can't, like, camera issues and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the camera was, a, was bad, there were, which for a the precision uh, platformer, mm -hmm. why... It's like it felt like playing like a Nintendo 64 exactly. game. Well, it felt like playing Banjo-Kazooie, probably. 
but <laughs> you can't why. just sit there and be nostalgic without fixing some of the issues of that era. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> the movie or the game? <laughs> All of them. All of the above. <laughs> Everything to do with Star Wars. It's true. All right, so ukulele doesn't go. Wiz Khalifa's Weed Farm. I played a lot of this you game. Because it has Wiz Khalifa in it. Oh. I'm pushing it through. I'm, not, I'm pushing this game through. Oh my god. So, wow. okay, so here's the thing. Isn't it a clicker? Ish. <laughs> it, it is it's a, a tapper. It's more of an idler than it is a clicker because you actually swipe <laughs> to get the, the plants. Oh, okay. Um, and now that, push, bro. now that a weed is legal in California, um, this game is just that much better. Oh. And, and they kept up updating it. So, <laughs> like, there were winter strains. In this game, uh, and stuff. Strains. <laughs> it was it was really fascinating. If you want to talk about a game who takes like this just absolutely stupid concept mm -hmm. and runs with it and like kind of succeeds with it, this game does. Well, that. you played it. You played it for about a solid month. Oh, or like nine months. Like, still, I think like longer. I think every now and then it, I open it. And I think like, you played it like pretty much through the whole summer. <laughs> I played a lot of games. Yeah, I remember. I feel like when we were doing our little mobile podcasts, oh, th we talked about this like every week. Yes, because it's that good of a game. So we're gonna push that through. Uh, what remains of either Fitch? Finch. I literally bought that yesterday. Isn't it Fitch? I think it's Finch. I feel like we argue about this every single I think time. Think it's Finch. Finch. I think so. I don't know why. Well, anyways, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Finch. Look it up. You have the computer. Oh gosh. Um. Now you want me to look stuff us. up. Did you say that you bought this game? It's Finch. Dang it. Okay. I'll fix that. This you bought it, right? Literally last night. This was the <laughs> Did game. Did you play any of it? No. Uh, this is the game because like last like last couple days I needed like one more good game to play for for the year. And it was between this one and Night in the Woods. And I picked Night in the Woods, so Guys, this game's like two hours long. I know. Maybe I should have picked it up and I'd be done with it already. And it's so good. I need to sit down and play that. I, I'm just... pushing this through uh, because I think it handles uh, topics. And you love this style of game. Too. I do. I like the, I like these quote unquote walking simulators, um, exploration based, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but this one, this one is super linear. It's it's not like Gone Home <laughs> where like you get to pick up everything in the world um, and check it out. And I guess Tacoma. Mm -hmm. which came out this year it's not like that it's much more linear like they have a story and they're gonna tell it and so they have to guide you really super close and i just there are certain things about this game that like impact me as a person um so much heavier than so many games i play um and i just absolutely love it and it's something you figure out very early on in the game but i don't want to i don't want to talk about it too much if you guys are both going to play it yeah i'll but, probably end right. up picking it up i mean this, it's still on sale way, till tomorrow yeah the way it well, the way it tells stories i think is probably one of the better ways i've seen a game tell stories in years well i've watched some videos on it and i saw about two and then i was like i'm stopping now because i need to play this yeah so. you, you I mean you could watch four videos on youtube and be and see the whole game mm -hmm. so it's it's really short but it's so worth it i'm passing it through okay so hey, I, mean, I don't, I don't uh, disagree mario kart 8 deluxe again that's me um <laughs> mario kart i love the mario kart series that i play them a lot but my big thing is this one was a lot more of the same they did add new maps new features and everything it was substantial enough where it was a new release but i wouldn't quite say it's enough to push it into my top 10. do you want to see it in the next round i don't okay okay um i think that that's a weird one because it is well like it uh like a re-release mm -hmm. but since the wii u was a garbage console that should have never existed um i can see like how that mm -hmm. should deserve some praise now versus last year um prey i didn't get my hands on prey i didn't either i played the demo okay loved it so I'm the only one who made it past the demo on Prey then. Um, I don't want to push this through. I liked Prey. Uh, I found it just 
it never captured me like I was hoping it would. Uh huh. Because I mean, it, when I played the demo, it reminded me of sim- well, very obviously very similar of uh, the Dishonored series. But I don't know something about Dishonored series just has such like a bigger magic that pulled me in versus Prey. Prey was fun. It was kind of scary, but I can see where like it didn't you know do obviously tremendously well. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a horror game. It was it was very suspenseful. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just I didn't think it was overly great. Mm-hmm. I think Dishonored did a better job of like this like exploration with the like the mission quest and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, but... I don't want to put there. So, okay. uh, Human Fall Flat, a, a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it deserves on this list. I will say it was. The most fun ever playing with Matt the other day. Within seconds of starting up that game, grabbed him, jumped off a cliff, and I was just like, I love this game. It sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's a neat little thing, but I just... Eh. I'm not going to push it through. Nah. I think AJ put that on this list, actually. Um, Injustice 2. Yes, yes, I'm pushing that through. That, okay. is, that is mine. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to say no, but... No, if you want to push it, it was a very good fighting game this year. Time. I really enjoyed it. It's once again in my top ten. Okay, uh, Magic Carp Jump. Uh, <laughs> no. So I beat this game into completion, which is for an app game, which is ridiculous. Um, but did you get any of microtransactions? I did not. I didn't pay any money. I beat it. I beat it the old fashioned way. It was stupid. That's, okay, that's that's, that's all I have to say. Push up there. <laughs> um, rhyme. I think I'm the only one who played Rhyme. It was neat in its own little ways. Uh, the pro- biggest problem with it is graphically, it looked really cool and performed pretty bad. Oh, okay. And that sucks uh, because I it was neat in its own right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I just meh. Basic Taxi Gazillionaire was a terrible game. <laughs> um, a- actually, there was some social commentary in that game, which was super surprising. Um, I want a real crazy taxi game. But instead, we got a mobile game. Right. Uh, and that one was a clicker. <laughs> uh, Monument Valley 2. I I don't know why I'm the only one who's played these games. I played the first one a little bit, but I never got the second one. It's that... <laughs> Perfect. It's Monument Valley one with more puzzles uh, and two characters. It looked oh. fun, like from when you played, like when I watched you, like a little. It's bit. only a couple bucks. Uh, the second one feels a lot longer than the first one, which I appreciated, uh, and I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. I played it a lot, but it's also one of those games that I play through once and I'm done with. Right. So. I want to see it maybe. I want to see it go through the next round. I don't know if it's going to go past that. Okay. I don't know if it stands up with some of these other games. We'll, we'll put it in for you. Sounds good. Good. Here's because the... I'm controlling it. <laughs> Arms! <laughs> Arms. That is a game I played on the Switch again. Yes. And I put them up, this on here just because it was surprisingly deep for what it was. You, It was a surprising fighting game coming from Nintendo. That was my big thing. I don't think it's good enough yet to put it shit through to the next round, but okay. I love to see this because like Nintendo's doing new things, and I like that for Nintendo since they have been so cemented in their old games, which are great, but yeah. it's nice seeing them do some new stuff. I totally agree with that. I just saw how crazy just the epidemic was around this game, ARMS. Like Before it was even out, there was like, mm-hmm. already a fan base in, like, for it. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> Nintendo fans are so weird sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Splatoon 2. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <That's you. laughs> uh, Splatoon 2 is pretty much Splatoon 1 on the Switch, but I love Splatoon. It's just the only thing is, and this is just me because I know there's a dedicated fan base who got who has this down. The motion controls are a little weird for me so far, but apparently once you get it down, it is the way to play. Like You don't want to use the joystick because you can just hit people so easily with the motion controls. I'm not going to push it through because okay. Splatoon 1 on Switch, not quite new enough for me. Uh, so Overcooked came out on the Switch. I saw you added it, but it's also been out for yeah. several years. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to ignore that one. <laughs> okay. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. Right. It was fun um, when we played it. But it's, yeah. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, 
Eh, no, <laughs> nah. It was a, it was so. a it was a good remaster. Actually, it was a really good remaster. Yeah, yeah but it didn't change the game. No, it didn't no. change the game. It just made it just brought the game. In fact, it made it harder. Yeah, <laughs> it actually did. That's what's funny. Oh, but I I enjoy it. I yeah. really really actually enjoyed the harder because I feel like now like it's scaling to like my age because like I played this game when I was like you know twenty <laughs> years ago. Around it. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then now, like they're bringing it up to the new age, like it's more equipped to my older, my older brain. I don't know, <laughs> with the rounded edges and. Smoother. Is this something you want to see go through? Um, no, it doesn't okay. need to. It was it was a fun game. Yeah. If you had thirty bucks to spend, I would have recommended it. It came out like the weird summertime when nothing else was there. So. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Um, that's you. Uh, this was that PS4 <laughs> uh, mobile game. The oh, okay. the link. Yeah. The play yeah. link. Play link. Uh, it was more fun than I expected. It actually was more fun than I expected. Yeah, but the guy was so annoying. Yeah, yeah. I like it, it's fun. I like. I don't think it's as good as the Jackbox games. So. Yeah, Jackbox does this much better, but this was just more fun than I expected. Yeah. Anybody you want to see it go through? Mm, nah. Okay. Dream Daddy. All right, Matt. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see this game go through, uh, and I will probably argue for it uh, stronger than I should. <laughs> But the thing about Dream Daddy that I find super amazing is when I found out Game Grumps were putting out a game, I expected one thing, and this was completely different. Mm -hmm. And when they came out and they're like, oh, it's called Dream Daddy, you're like, oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> right. Uh, these are the same guys who do Ninja Sex Party. Like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> uh, but I think Dream Daddy is a lot more special than than it should be and you know like i'm not huge into visual novels um in fact the fact that i played two visual novels this year this one and doki doki is insane um but i and i know it's not a great visual novel but it's i think there's just like the way you interact with your daughter i think is fantastic i think that that you're both trying to reel with, uh, in my case, the loss of my like the loss of my wife, uh, who passed away, and the way that they interact with each other. I think you can tell like these people need each other, and I think that that's really great. Um, and then, connection. and then beyond that, uh, moving into a cultazac with other dads and finding love with those other dads, like who are dealing with the same thing as you, I think is like. Again, with that exploration of sexuality, I think that this is really fascinating. And I watched a little bit of playthroughs on this one, and I thought it was surprisingly charming. Like It is. It's very charming. I didn't I wanna, end up buying it, but I thought it was you should, you should very interesting. Su support your game developers. I'm pushing it through. <laughs> uh, Elder Scrolls Legends. I don't think it should be pushed through. It was a fun card game. It was Hearthstone with lanes. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I liked Which it. Which is going to be... Uh, Topped by artifact, anyway. So, oh, no. the Dota fan would say that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, eh, no, I don't think it should be pushed through. Yeah. Okay. Hellblade, Sinuous Sacrifice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yes, this absolutely. game goes through, no doubt about it. Best I'm, I'm, use of audio I've heard all year. Absolutely. In a long, long time. It's, it's as I put in my notes. It's the most memorable game I've played all year. I started playing this just before Austin did, and I remember talking to him. I said, you need to play with headphones, and he was kind of skeptical. Well, because right, I know it tells you to do that, so I probably would have done it anyway. Right, but... but came away like, yes. Yeah, because I bought it, and then I had to go to class, but then you came home from work. <laughs> right. And you're like, oh, I'm, already, I'm playing it. It's so good. I'm like, I want to go play it now. <laughs> yeah, great game. All right. Uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Am I the only one who did it? No. Again, I just bought it yesterday. I have. Can you play this? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? It's hard because it's the whole thing is not done yet, especially because episode three like just came out. Yes. And so it's hard to give it like to push it through because it's not done yet. Well, I so I'm about halfway through episode three right now. Um, I think judging it on the first two episodes is fine. Mm -hmm. I want to see this push through. Um, yeah. The thing I really liked about this is because I was a big fan of Life is Strange, and I was super concerned about the fact that they were taking away the huge mechanic of like, oh, you can rewind time mm -hmm. and all that, and you lose Max and all of these things that I really liked about the first game. 
but still so I much realized much. playing this that I like Chloe Price as a character so much more than I thought I did. Yeah, because um, in Life is Strange, you're like, me cares? Whereas this, you're like, oh, okay, now it makes sense of why she exactly. is the way she is. Mm-hmm. And there, there are moments, like, when you fight with your mom and stuff that, like, it kills me a little bit inside every time it happens. Uh, but I, and I think, like... Like the attention to detail is really awesome. Like, like these there's this very little thing that in the first Life is Strange, when Max first meets uh, Chloe, Chloe says "hella," and uh, Max makes fun of her for it because that's like a very California thing to do, um, and nobody says that right. Well, in the first episode of Before the Storm, uh, Rachel says that to Chloe. Mm. and she has the same reaction that max did and so you realize that they made this connection between this game and the like the original game it's pretty cool that like this is why she says that and that's why this is so important to her right because rachel was such a big part of her life yeah um i like this game it's just yeah it's like little things that bring you back to the first game it's I don't know. That's what gets me for and, and definitely the like the, the toughest thing about this game is knowing exactly how it ends. Mm-hmm. Like they can like fudge stuff in the middle, uh, mm-hmm. but you know exactly what's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the the more time like and the closer you get to Rachel, the harder it becomes. Mm-hmm. So why prequel games are so hard. Yeah, and I think they're doing really good at it. Mm-hmm. So I want to see this go through. All right, Tacoma. I like Tacoma, but I don't know if it goes. It should go through. I like Tacoma a lot. Um, I thought it had some really neat mechanics, uh, but I just like several months out of it. I just don't right. feel the way I did when I played it. Mm-hmm. Right. So, cool. uh, Divinity Original Sin Two. Did any of us play it? That was the original. No. That was added by AJ, and I didn't know if anybody played it. No, so. I haven't played it. All good. It was fun, but no. yeah, Sonic Mania. I like Sonic Mania a lot. I don't want to push it through <laughs> because of Tails, right? Because of Tails, and still, even a very good Sonic game is a mediocre game. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> As much as you actually like this game, I like this game a lot. I thought it was fun, but I just like. It still goes back to the same exact problems every Sonic game has ever had. Mm-hmm. The platforming's bad. You either and, hold right or they randomly stop you in a game you're supposed to go fast. Right, and I just like that bucks me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Project Cars Two. I'm pushing for it. Yeah. You would agree? Okay. It's it's a good it's a very good racing sim. Okay. Probably one of the best ones I've played. Even better on a chair and a VR headset. Oh, that VR fun. is. The way yeah. to play it. Is Do it... you have that stuff? I don't have a race oh. system chair, but I've been to an expo where they actually had it set up. Okay. And holy cow! <laughs> yeah. No, that's not like, awesome. like this game looks good. Like looks great, and the handling of car the cars is super well done. It's very realistic to what you. That's think. what I like about Project Cars is they work with racers and all that who are yeah. also developers. So that's why it's the most difficult racing game. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of people don't like it. But that's what I like. Well, like, it, it took me a while to get used to used to it because I mean, the last racer I played, I don't know, Drive Club, and that was bad. It was, was too arcadey, yeah, too, too drifty. Cool. It's funny because there were like three big racing games released this year. Yeah, I know. Well, this one, Dirt Four came out. Dirt, uh, there's a lot. Dirt Four came out. Oh, uh, Forza, Forza Seven, and then Gran Turismo Four. Like Dirt Rally Four. Yeah. I mean, I ended up getting, I bought this game because it came out a month before Grand Turismo. I'm like, oh, I'll just get it to get my hype going for Grand Turismo. And then I ended up just like loving this game way too much to even like, even thinking about buying Grand Turismo. So, yeah. Sounds good. All right, we can push it through. Um, Destiny 2. <laughs> I want to fight for this game. I, I, I agree with you that it should be pushed through. I think it was a good game. Things there's things that kind of ruined it for me, but overall, like I enjoyed playing the game, and like what was sold to me on my disc before paying mm-hmm. extra money or anything was good. I will say I will fight for the base game. Yeah, like, yeah. I will say if you add in the DLC, I will get very mad. <laughs> 
And See, I haven't gone that far yet. I think yet. people on console can have a better say on it because they've had more time on it. Yeah. As a PC player for Destiny, I didn't get much time before new DLC came out. So right. I was kind of So like, did your DLC came out the same really time really as console? Yeah, okay. came out the exact same time. So I'm sitting there like, what the heck is this? Literally it was just the end got of this October game a month and a half ago. End of November or so, something like that. That was frustrating, but I did enjoy playing it uncapped frame rate at 4K. Like, I'm sure I'm sure it looked good. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful game. game. That's one thing Destiny is. It's, it's a very beautiful game. It reminds me like... too much of the original Destiny, mm -hmm. which I still love that game, yeah. but I'm like, come on. See, I actually like this game better because I never played Destiny 1. I feel like that's like why I like this game more than some like you who played the crap out of Destiny 1. Yeah, uh, because like fine. I came into it and like I had played like the beta in Destiny 1 and stuff. So I like experienced the shooting and all that stuff yeah. that I think like that game does absolutely better than any game on mm -hmm. the market. Yeah. Well, yeah, Bungie just knows how but, to do But uh, the thing is, is like I don't feel worn out right now. Mm -hmm. Like I've played, I put maybe like 40, 50 hours into this game right now. And I'm okay with it. Like mm -hmm. I'm okay stopping there until they give me a reason to come back. And I don't feel bitter about it. See, my, that. my issue is I think I was still worn out from Destiny 1. Exactly. And then I got this game, and it was fun. I played it, and I, I just kind of didn't, like, rush it. I did my time, did all the missions, and, like, I beat it, and I was kind of like, I really don't want to do anything else until I have more to play. And then the expansion came out, kind of fall, fell flat, so I think I'm going to wait to, like, they do like they do with like the Taken King on Destiny One, mm -hmm. where they like have like the, the bundle the of fall, yeah, the, the next in one year from now, I'll probably get back into Destiny Two mm -hmm. and play all the new stuff that I haven't played yet, and like it'll feel probably feel more fresh to me then. Kind of what I'm thinking, right? But yeah. as a whole, when I paid sixty bucks playing the game, it was good. It was an improvement yeah. on the story compared to the first one. The oh, gameplay yes. is great. The beta was in a third of the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a plus. Right. All right, well, uh, Destiny 2 is going through. Absolver, I eh, I wanted to like this game more than I did. I really liked it, but I'm still a little bitter at it because it deleted all my data. So. Oh, oh. recipes. <laughs> Over by Mass Effect. That's, you why, I, know. that's, why, I didn't get, that's why I didn't get Prey because of all those hard drive issues that that game was getting. Yeah. Um, I can see that. Um, yeah, I just didn't really like the game that much. I tried. Me. Makes sense. Me. Cuphead. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I knew that that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna be a problem. Um, I have yet to play it, but you own it now, don't you? I do. Okay. Ark Survival Evolved. Anyone? No. I, uh, I bought the game and then refunded it. <laughs> it was terrible. Okay. I've played it. I play. I play it with friends every once in a while. But it's one of those games. Like, I want to get I will it. Not open it unless I have a friend playing it. Yeah. yeah. The funniest thing about that game was getting defecated on by a dinosaur. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> but other than that, no, I returned the game. Right. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Um, XCOM Two: War of the Chosen. I haven't played. Uh, I mean, I heard that this basically overhauled the game. I think AJ again put this on here, and he's not here to argue for it. So I don't. Yeah. I, I'm still. This is still one that I want to play because I love the mm -hmm. first XCOM. It was so good. And right. Then, yeah, I heard this. This expansion really changed the game. Well, I heard it because like when XCOM two had a lot of issues with like you know when you have like a ninety percent shot on someone and you miss like four times in a row. It's hey, like, it's kind of you've got that ten percent. But like when you miss it four <laughs> times in a row and stuff like that, like I I understood understood people's frustrations. Like I'd like to see how this War of the Chosen has changed it, and then maybe this will be one I pick up here in like the next month or two. That's good. Cool. I love that kind of strategy game. Um, Stardew Valley for the Switch. I will say I think this substantially changed the game enough just by putting it on the Switch. Uh, for me, for me, maybe because I'm I don't sitting know. there. I played it on the PC. Yeah, and I put it down pretty quick. I played it, played on the Switch, and I would carry that into my bedroom and just sit there on it. Well, while I feel I'm like that that would be a thing. really, really great so mobile for game for me. It's on there, but I understand the that it's not really substantially new, so I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to say okay. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't know if it really should go forward just because it's the same game. Yeah, I think like the platform is really great, mm -hmm. but yeah. Um, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. <laughs> I it, so it came out on the Trove for Humble Bundle. Yes, and so I played it, and it pissed me off, dude. Yes, <laughs> that game literally pisses me off because how that's, hard it is. That's what that game does. It's like Cuphead <laughs> did the same thing to me, but 
it's beautiful. The soundtrack's awesome and all that. It makes me want to keep playing it. Yeah, but, but, it's about, but it's something about Pepe. Yeah. yeah. This one just infuriates me to the point that the only reason why I keep playing it is to continuously yell at my computer, <laughs> apparently. And so I just stopped. So I don't. I won't push it through. I think the best thing about this game, to be honest, is the commentary. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like Why when when you so like well. get super like far up and then you swing and you fall back to the very starting space and it's like oh you just lost a lot of, a lot of progress that must hurt really bad I'm like yeah, or oh say, you die yeah, or, or he'll just say something random or I'll just uh -huh. be like shut up dude. I don't care so does anybody want to see it through no I have no idea okay. this game even is so it's. It's Take a, a nightmare. Yeah, you're literally sitting in this cauldron, and you have a sledgehammer, and then you have to prop yourself up and like climb over stuff, and you're literally getting over it. It's, to... it's from the guy who made Quap, oh. which is like that <laughs> running game with. Yes. The... <laughs> I well, I've been putting that in my dorm freshman year. <laughs> what a nightmare! Oh, I almost made it all the way, and it's that just game. that. It's that. It's like hand simulator. <laughs> uh, no, that can't. No, uh, Shadow of War. That's one I missed out on this year. I didn't play it either. I didn't play it. Oh, never played it. Oh, well, I guess it's not going on. Uh, <laughs> South Park Fractured But Whole. Yes, I enjoy. You want to see yes. it through? Want to see it through? Okay, I will. I, I will argue that. that when we get there. Um, Jackbox Four and eh. eh, just more experiences is an extra life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the kids. It's for the children. It's for the children. I don't want to see Jackbox four through. I mean, it's it's fine if you. It just, but it wasn't as good as the other Jackboxes. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins. Yes, absolutely. It it should go through. Okay, I'll let I'll let that go. Wolfenstein two. Yes. Okay. Oh, a game of four K, immaculate. I, bet. I will recommend playing on a controller because uh, when you lean, what by pressing Q and E, you literally. Lean ninety degrees <laughs> <laughs> because it's axis based leaning. Because yeah. like you can, because you can like lay down and then lean too. Uh -huh. So when you're doing all that, if you're just pressing Q and E, you're literally ninety degree lean. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's amazing. So definitely play. I'm gonna kill some Nazis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you're playing it um, on a PC, definitely do controller. Um, First five minutes, there are racial slurs, fat shaming. I heard the first five minutes a of dog like, dies. just a wild ride. I, the I'm first just hour like, of that game. I'm literally sitting there, my hands on my face, just like, what is going on? <laughs> and it's just an awesome game, so I'm pushing it through. Okay, I, I will accept that. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. I'll just say yes. I'll, I'll accept <laughs> that, yes. Yeah, that, that'll be. Uh, South Park Phone Destroyer. I never downloaded it. Nah. No. Nah. Animal cool. Crossing Pocket Camp, absolutely not. No, it's um, bad. And Pocket is spelled incorrectly Pocket. on the list. Perfect. Uh, Pocket Camp. <laughs> and then PUBG. It, uh, that goes through. Yeah, yeah. it has to. <laughs> all right, so we have a list. We've gone through all of these. Um, let's take a quick break while I like manipulate our list so we can actually read what's happening. Cool. Cool, um, cool, cool. We'll be right back. Yo, we're back after the break. So we are in round two of our game of the year. We have 20 games that we passed into round two, and we need to limit it down to 10. All right. Um, so the, I think the best way to go through this is just go through the games again and decide if they're better than the rest of this list or not. So pretty much this sense. is where we make our arguments. Yeah, this is like if if we're gonna fight, this is it. Um, All right, I'm ready. Okay. Get my emotions, um, can I get some kicks in here? Ugh, we're good. Yeah, we First of all, up. I wanna say... Uh, I respect all your opinions, but they're probably wrong. Yes. <laughs> PUBG goes through. PUBG goes through. I don't think it is. Oh, argue. Jason's the only one. I hate it. Bert, I love the game. Played so much. But for the majority of the year, it was early access. I know. Well, Therefore, I it should that. not get game of the year because it's still broken at full release. I understand that. Uh, and so I guess my argument is sure, it was early access for most of the year. But it's full release now. Broken. But it's still broken. It's, it's broken. <laughs> but. I don't know. There's something about it where I accept the brokenness in this, but how better than the rest that? of the game. How can you set 
accept that brokenness here, but not in a different game. That's my thought. Uh, because I think that, I mean, I, I, there's just something about this game. I don't know if there's a good <laughs> argument. It's Thank the you. replayability and the challenge of just, that. It also just paved the way for Battle Royale. Some yeah. people argue H1 did that, but H1 was honestly H1 didn't, bad. H1Z1 didn't cause me to buy a computer. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> I worked with, they bought a computer specifically for PUBG. So. I'll say I recognize the cultural impact of this and that it's going to do a lot for gaming in the future. I just really hated the game. <laughs> Which is so weird because we've, wa we've won multiple times I know, before, like me and you. The like... big thing is like, and I know you're a big fan of this game too, but it has a lot of the same things I didn't like about <gasps> Rainbow Six Siege. You have a lot of waiting. You died. Your friends are still playing. I'm See, but I, but I don't if know. You, if you, you can wait if you like decide to wait. Yeah, I mean, if you, I go aggro. I don't mean so much like the actual gameplay itself because uh, I'm talking about like if you die in a group, it's there's a lot of just okay. Now I'm just gonna sit here. And oh watch. yeah, and that sort of gameplay. I don't know. I forgive me. that so much more in this because it's like it happens once mm -hmm. in the round. Right. Like seeds, it's like oh, you die immediately in this round, uh, and you do more. that over and over <laughs> and over. Yeah, I understand that. that and good? I'm not going to argue with you <laughs> guys. I'm going to say that you guys obviously <laughs> really agree with this one. So I'm not going to sit there and be like the one who says, no, yeah. don't put it but on Plus, there. what's cool is even if you do die and you're waiting there, when stuff does pop off, you can do like command and control because you can see everyone's perspective. Yeah, you like, can help. So like, then you can call out stuff. I was, just playing, I was just playing the other day with a friend of ours. We're doing first person, so I can't see anything around me. Yeah. But he could. Mm -hmm. No, so I'm like running. He's like, "Oh, I see the two on the road over there." And it's cheating. Yeah, yeah, that brings up a whole new it's issue. Kind of cheating. <laughs> I know that the game's kind of overrun with cheaters and hackers right now. Whatever. Like, but that's, that's <laughs> the point. Like, I guess like having the dead spectator like does help you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, well, you're because you're already at a disadvantage being like a one person like a, with squads or teams right. even. So like any advantage you can get might be helpful. Yeah. So maybe. And I'm not saying it shouldn't be on a top ten list. I'm just saying it's not on my personal yeah. top ten list. Plus what I like about the game is four years of my military career just isn't a waste now because I can actually use tactics in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. For that reason alone. I, I, I will fight to the death for PUBG. I'll put it in. It's list. in. Yeah. It's, it's definitely the, one of the most played games I've played this year. So Absolutely. I, Got it's the most, most played players game. this year, too. It's the most played game I've played in a very, very long time. Um, all right. So with that, that out of the way, uh, <laughs> Night in the Woods. I will say that one deserves to be on the list for me. I do, too. I'm going to push it, too. The characters are too strong. It's the not, story is yeah. too great. It's not my strongest game of the year, but I still think it should be in the top ten because I think people do need to play this game. Mm -hmm. I need to play the game. Yeah, I think it had too many good things about it to just say no. Yeah, I think I think Iron Woods good. Let's eliminate some games. Wiz Khalifa's we Wiz, Wiz Khalifa's yeah. farm no. gets eliminated. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa. I've played a lot of that game. Um, uh, it's still not very good. <laughs> Did he even get rid of Monument Valley too? I'm. Uh, I think you're the only one who's played it. So mm -hmm. yeah, Slash. you're the one that pushed it through. Well, I don't think it's so much the fact that he's the only one that played it. I just think what it's up against. Yeah, what it's up against. I mean, it's... I think what it's up against. You're probably right. Um, we can we can get rid of Monument Valley. Too. Yeah, I'm as well get rid of Super Mario Odyssey while we're at it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean that's exactly not a good game. why I'm sitting there like. <laughs> we can't do this. Um, I think the rest are there. That's good, <laughs> and we got to fight for this now. I didn't or, like South Park. You did not. No. I tried and tried, and I loved the Stick of Truth. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not captured by this game at all. I will say, as I much as I enjoyed it, go oh, go ahead. I think that's why I liked it, because I never played Stick of Truth. So this was my know. first, like, South Park game. Yeah, and I don't know, like, and I'm trying not to compare it to that. It's, I did not like the combat in this game. I didn't like the fighting style. The turn -based I, like stuff. I think people, yeah, yeah, well, people complain, because with Stick of Truth, Obsidian does such a great job with the combat and stuff like that, then now Ubisoft takes over on this one. And, and that's, not why I, to Ubisoft. that's not why I dislike it. But I know, I know that's what was a lot of people's complaints is it was too different. 
they didn't like the changes of combat and stuff like that. And I, I don't know. I'd be totally fine with the changes. I just don't think it worked out very well. Um, I just, I, as a big South Park fan, mm -hmm. it, like, I expected more from that game. Considering how many delays and mm -hmm. stuff this game had, I think the writing could have been a little better. That was my big thing. Like, and that's what I go to South Park for, mm -hmm. is the writing. It starts out, like, pretty strong. It feels like, you know, they're going to do a great job. But then after a while, it kind of devolves. The jokes become less complex, and they're very simple. I, not always, but I just say it. I really enjoyed it, but I can see your argument for not putting it on the top 10. And I haven't played it, so I'm, I'm just going to say no for me. No for me, dog. <laughs> you seen that commercial? Yeah. Randy Jackson <laughs> hosting a dog show. Hilarious. Um, are we cool with taking South Park off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, Unless you really want to fight to the death over here. Yeah. <laughs> I think that... Super Mario Odyssey should go through. Absolutely. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, I, I never played it, and I'm still. Oh, I guess I played a little bit of your place. I mean, I have yeah. played a little bit of the Breath of the Wild, and I have played a little bit of Super Mario Odyssey. And what I did play was really good. And those are the two that I, this year that I'm just like, they, they were so well done. Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Those are the ones that I'll fight to the death. I have one more that I absolutely will, but. Those two, I feel like I will have an easy. Well, which time. ones are you? You say you're gonna fight for Zelda, Mario, and what else? Uh, Persona Five. Oh, I think Persona Five should begin before Super Mario Odyssey. You know, I would agree with you. As much as I enjoyed Super Mario Odyssey, the story really drove Persona Five, and it really hit home for me. I love that one. Okay, well, let's move Persona Five right now. Um, we can always move it out. We can. We can do whatever we want. I might show. punch someone if you tried that, though. Um, do it live. Come on, on yeah, I think so. Right now. Not over it. I mean, Bring it. Just, I might punch someone. Um, well, what about Injustice 2? I love the game. I don't think any of you guys have played it. I did. You I did. played it. You have it. Yeah. It's a fighting game. It's a fighting game. It's, it's superhero Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I, I love think... I love the game because mm -hmm. just for like playing it was like going through a comic or like watching yeah. a comic or something. It was really well done, like the story mode. I really like the multiplayer, the multiverse that they added. It was really well done. It's a lot of well it's a good amount of content, mm -hmm. but I mean with you guys maybe you won't push it as much and i understand if you want to cut it it's not the greatest game for me it was the best fighting game to come out this year personally mm -hmm. i don't know this was a pretty good what's year that, for... what does that actually mean i know but this is a big <laughs> year for fighting games so it's for me it was like it was the one i wanted and it was the most anticipated one of the most anticipated games this for me this year uh-huh because i love the first one but if you're not willing to die for it well, I think it compared goes. to other games, compared to other games, because like think I, it's really tough. Cause I know I know Super Mario is going to be better, and I know Zelda is probably going to be better, and I just haven't played those, so mm -hmm. that's why I'm like kind of like, eh, because Injustice made my top ten, e like pretty easy. So, but if you want to kill it, you can kill it. Fire. Well, let's let's take out Injustice then. Kill it with Kryptonite. Mm. If you're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna fall on your sword for it. Um, I'll fight harder for other games. Yeah, exactly, and that's kind of that's kind of what this is all about. That was a pun. You didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cuphead should go. Over. Yeah. Um, yeah, I it's without a doubt. Games. It's like it was, number one. For it me. was. <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. I'm still playing it. It still maddens me, but I never feel like it's being unfair, and that says something about oh. it. Yeah, because like when you finally beat that boss, it's like the most like exhilarating feeling <laughs> in the world. Like, oh my god, it took me until, like until you four only hours. get a B, and you're like, no. I <laughs> oh, I don't care about, I don't I care about the grade. If I, if I pass, I'm like, I'm uh, in. I want to see one of those people that like to 100% games, and that just infuriates <laughs> me even more. But that's what makes me want to play it. It's because it is challenging. I, I just want to beat it first. I, did, yeah. and I think I did start it on the hardest difficulty that you could pick right away right. just mm -hmm. to give it an extra challenge. And then I, I love this game. It's, yeah. The art style, the music, it's just so Especially because it's all hand drawn. Mm -hmm. And it was like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the And the music. All it brand works. new composed ragtime and mm -hmm. like that's so cool. Yeah, I'll just all be the sitting there playing effects. games and turn on that soundtrack. It's oh, so absolutely. 
I have the soundtrack and I've listened to it more than I played the game. That's like the <laughs> one game I enjoy film grain on. Yeah. And because it, it just works. It's that, mm-hmm. that art style. Right. Definitely. Um, okay. I, I love What Remains of Edith Finch. Do you think it's top 10 worthy? Because if none of us have had it, played it, then... No, I haven't played it. And I, still I can't mean, help. It, it's on my list, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see it on there before I want to see Dream Daddy. I, I think we should get, you can just get rid of Dream Daddy, probably. I think Dream Daddy is a really good game. I think What Remains is a better game. Mm-hmm. So are we eliminating Dream Daddy from contention? Let's eliminate Dream Daddy. Let's do. It. I just, I just can't <laughs> argue for it above right. many of these games. I think Hellblade needs to go over. Yes, Mm -hmm. Hellblade absolutely needs to go over. I still think it's really hard to say Zelda wouldn't go over because that redefined that franchise. It it redefined that franchise, but separate from that franchise. If it was just a game by itself, I would play the crap out of it. Left of the Wild? Yeah. They did this cool thing. It's like you can go to the end point at any time. Yeah. You just got to level oh, up. Oh, absolutely. Otherwise, you're just going to get destroyed. Well, the cool That's thing, what's kind of cool. The yeah. cool thing about it is like how varying everything is. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to mm-hmm. ride your shield like a snowboard? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. So and they really did like, change it, the game for open world games. And what I liked about this compared to other open world games is like a lot of these open world games, they are so glitchy like none other. This has the Nintendo polish. Like there are glitches, but I never experienced one on my own. I know other people had, but it has that Nintendo polish. Like it's fantastic. I'm just glad it came out for the Switch and not the Wii U. <laughs> well, it did come out for the Wii U. Too. Too. Wii U. Oh, it. <laughs> That's actually, I saw most of the gameplay. That's a different on kind the Wii, of Nintendo on the Wii polish. Wii um, poo on it. Well, let's. I, can we cut Ghost Recon? Yes. Yeah. I was just going to say Ghost Recon probably can go. I love the game. It wasn't everyone's favorite game. so I like third person shooters, just that one. I've heard weird stories about. Unfortunately, See, I like Ghost Recon games. Yeah, I, I, do, I like too. the old but, school games. Yeah, it disappointed me. That's why I, I put on my thing. Like, unfortunately, it's not, doesn't capture like the old, like actual, like more tactical team stuff that the original Ghost Recons had. I remember playing Jungle Storm so much. I had it on PS2. One of the best games I've ever played. And it was so much fun and so hard too. It was just good. But it can go. Sorry. Project Cars 2. That's a hard one. Because it is such a right. good game. But how can you how can you justify it being on the top ten? That's but no, it's different. It's, racing sims are so niche though. Yeah. I can see how it won't be on there, but it's I guess so this is this is a really stupid way to compare these games. Well, would you rather see Project Cars 2 or Destiny 2? Ah, oh, Jesus. I can't compl- I mean, They're I can't. completely different, obviously. That's like, why yeah. I'm saying that's stupid. But. I can't. Like, uh, it's, it's a weird... I would say get rid of Project Cars 2 because it is so niche. Whereas everyone's probably tried Destiny. Everyone's probably tried. See, I want Destiny 2 to go over. And it should. It should, just because I've played it more than Project Cars 2. And, well, and I've played a lot of games that I hate. Yeah. Like, and so that's not... And this is our list, frankly. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we were all into visual novels, we could. We, we, this could be a top ten visual novel list. Mm-hmm. So like just it. yeah, just with saying it's our list, I'd rather just say Destiny Two over Project Cars Two because yeah. I'm the one that's really played it. You played it a little bit. I love the game, but it's not like well, let's let's get rid of them. Goodbye, Project Cars. You were good while you lasted. <laughs> Still is good. Uh, um, so we need three more games and we still have six to choose from oh no so okay Horizon Zero Dawn or Assassin's Creed Origins Horizon that's no I would absolutely no agree with you just because of microtransactions now my question to you Austin since you played Assassin's Creed what makes this a better Assassin's Creed than the last one? You could pay to win, dude. You well, to I'm sorry. Okay, the pay to win, I don't know. The pay to win's a little different. It is a single player campaign, like stories. Like if pay to win, if you, if you if that's what you want to do, go crazy. I this game just because I played Assassin's Creed all the way up to 
Unity. I stopped at Unity because all the it was just was bad, and I was still like at that point I was just like kind of getting tired of Assassin's Creed game. This really revitalized the whole series for me personally. Mm -hmm. The new the new combat, the RPG elements they added to it, just a huge open world, huge open world. It's incredible how big this game now, is. Take it out it's of huge, huge, <laughs> huge it's open huge. world. Believe me. Um, I mean, I've put. I think my last check was 47 hours, Holy and I crap. bet I'm halfway through the game. So no, I, I guess I have to. Oh, sorry. I what guess. Else? Go ahead. <laughs> my, I guess my follow up to that would be, uh, if it's not, if it wasn't part of this series, how would you feel about it? If it was just like a new game, yeah, I would have loved it. I love, well, I love these open world RPGs like this, where exploration's key. You can find gear. You can upgrade your gear. It was it was a very good game. Compared to Horizon, though, it's really hard to compare because they're both I mean, they're both of that same nature. But I honestly do think Horizon will have the edge because it's a more complete game. I want to. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say that because Horizon is a see, complete game. I want to see Horizon on the top ten. I think Horizon overall has a better story than Assassin's Creed. Because I mean, Assassin's Creed still has that animus stuff that I never really was really a fan of. So it just needs to go. Yeah, exactly. But that's the whole point. I mean, that is that is what Assassin's Creed is. Like, just you're gonna have to accept it. It's not in your face. <laughs> but if you have to accept it, this is a big thing. If you but have it, to no, accept it, it's does fine. that automatically knock it down a peg? No, I, I, cause I actually don't mind the animus story with like the present day with the Abstergo trying to get whatever. It's all the things. The things. Well, in the following missions. How much of it is following missions? None. I have not done anything following. Oh, it is... come on. <laughs> Dude, I you can't tell no. me that. I followed one group of people for like two minutes, and that was it. I would kill myself <laughs> it wasn't for that... two minutes, <laughs> a single I mission. I don't know if it was even that bad. Oh, no. Okay, but it wasn't even that bad, because most, most of the game like, is really creative. I love how they're really like they take obviously the religion and stuff really like, really big in this game and with the Egyptian gods and stuff. and. When you, you know, since you're, what's it called? A Magi is like the protector. Magi. The, the Magi, you're the protector of the people, and you're the you're the person that chooses who gets to go like to like the under like to the underworld or not. So like when you execute someone, it takes you to like the Duat, which is like the their underworld kind of thing, and then you you have the final choice of like make it sending them there. It's like super cool, and I That's love. That's kind of cool. It's really 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 cool, and I love it for that reason and there's like a part when you go through like a weird dream sequence and then you end up like floating down like the river of the Duat which like you know I think like river sticks and you end up fighting uh like the serpent god of the underworld and it's really really cool and like it's I don't know I think the only argument that Assassin's Creed has from in my opinion is it's got a larger reach just because it's multi-platform mm -hmm. mm -hmm. whereas Horizon if you don't have a PlayStation you really can't experience See, and I don't, I don't, I don't want you to pit these games with each other because in my opinion, I think they both should be over in the top 10. Okay, well, the problem is, is at this point, if we're looking at the list that we can move over, we've got Assassin's Creed, Horizon, and Zelda, which are all big open world RPG games. And I think we're mostly going to have different opinions on these so, three. So, okay, let's skip that then. Let's, let's move, how about Wolfenstein 2? Ah. Uh, you guys haven't really played it, have you? No. I've, is it groundbreaking? That's the big thing. Because like, from what I've heard, it like doesn't bring not, much more. Like, no, it doesn't. Than what the new it's Colossus just, did. No, this is New Colossus. It's new just, Order. Yeah. Yeah, the New Order. It isn't that much different, but it's just fun. It's, I like Wolfenstein shooters. They, I don't know. Mm -hmm. For me, like, for me, it, yes, but probably for the whole consensus. It probably so I, from it. what I heard, I really want to get this game. I probably will still buy it before the sale is up on Steam because it's half off right now. But from what I heard, the ending is very disappointing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to look at it like that. I, I so for me, Wolfenstein was never about the story. Yeah, it's true. Or actually, so... Oh, it's the mechanics. Well, it, actually, so I take everything back that I just said. It's uh, like I could care less about the fighting. I actually by about the first half of the new order yeah. i turned it down to easy because i could care less yeah like i like i didn't really want to experience the fighting at all for me it was the world yeah. like especially once you meet the resistance and you're walking around and you're looking at all the like newspaper clippings yeah, of, like, that was really cool. new york getting nuked and everybody's surrendering and all this stuff um 
that was what was really cool about Wolfenstein. So with Wolfenstein 2, if it's that and it's more of that, I'm going to love it. Yeah. It it's pretty cool because when you're going through like the um the subways in New York and all that and you're having to do a little bit of stealth, you're having to do all that at the same time. It it is pretty cool, but it's not enough to push it forward. Are we gonna are we gonna delete Wolf on Side too? Yeah. And I only think <laughs> I have the group that because I haven't played it yet. And this is one of the I, me too. I literally made a, I literally put it like on my top twin list, like a like list of games that I missed out on and that I really wanted to play and that probably would have affected my list, and that was one of them. Yep. Absolutely. So we're down to one, two, three, four, five games, and we have three spots. Yep. So, okay. I am happy to lose one of what remains or life is strange honestly i would say life is strange because it's not complete yet but it is complete yeah the third episode has come it's out. done oh that was there's only three episodes yes oh i thought it was like it wasn't a five episode thing oh, yeah okay. i thought there were gonna be a few more so, no, so, so there's this one and then there's yet. like a special like additional episode that bridges oh. the gap between the prequel and the and i think that's where max comes back okay. and that, that was more of like oh the actor strike just ended, and we want to bring Chloe's original actress back. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so, Matt, my question to you is, which one did you enjoy more? Because I don't think any of us played Life is Strange or What Remains of Edith Finch. I haven't done either. Yeah. Um, I love Life is Strange. I love I Life love is Strange. Original. For me, I will argue for the storm keeps like pushes through just from the first two episodes alone. I... So I think what remains of Edith Finch is very much about the person who plays it. Uh, like, I think that they take the whole adventure style game and kind of flip it on its head. It's kind of like with Night in the Woods did, where it constantly keeps you guessing about what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. Like the first time you walk up in a band practice and you play the Guitar Hero yeah and you, like how shocking and amazing that is yeah that blew that's, my mind that's what Edith finch does the entire game mm -hmm. um and like that's why i loved that game so much for me uh i wrote a like i wrote like an essay on my game of the year list because of this um but it it touched me emotionally unlike a game has in a very very long time um, probably ever but i think that's because of where i was at the time and who i am and i can see how that is not going to work for most people or maybe not even most people but for a lot of people um if dj is willing to argue for life is strange i'll take life is strange over what it remains yep life is strange right i need to sit down and download that one because i love the first one so much I, I want Life is Strange on that list, though. If I'm going to delete one of them, yeah. they, one of them goes over. Now we officially have room for two of our final ones. We have two more, and we have Horizon, Zelda, and Assassin's Creed. We can also move one back if we feel necessary. I, I think Horizon deserves the praise. Horizon came from a studio that we weren't expecting anything. Mm-hmm. And then the kill, the kill zone just, studio. I mean, and, yeah, I mean, it's just and kill zone was a nightfall, or I think the late the one that Shadowfall? Came, Shadowfall that came out was bad, yeah. Like, I bought that, that was one of the few games I bought right when PS4 came out, and I like, mm -hmm. played it for like a couple hours. I'm like, this right. is not like the gunplay was fine, but like, just the story was bad. I got bored, especially with that compared one. to the original kill zones. Oh, I terrible. love it. Like, the first three kill zones were so good, and I. I will put Horizon over Assassin's Creed only for the reason that a Horizon story just was so cool and so different. It like blew my mind at one point, at several points. You guys ever played the expansion? I have it. I haven't played it yet. I haven't touched it yet. Frozen Wilds. I heard it's fun, but I mean the part when you actually like discover what Zero Dawn is and like what all that was is just like. And like for that reason, I will throw it over Assassin's Creed because unfortunately, Assassin's Creed, even though they have a great character, I love Bayek. He's funny. He actually has a lot of personality compared to like other Assassin's Creed games, like mm -hmm. Ezio and Altair and whatever. They're all like really serious most of the time. 
by X, he's funny. He laugh like he like cracks jokes with people, and like there's like a running joke in the game that like, none of the people can pronounce his name correctly. And so he's always just, like, it's never mind. Just like walks off. It's it's there's good character in that game. But I think Horizon overall, all the characters were so well done. Even just like the one story or like one quest person that you talked to was perfectly yeah. well acted mm -hmm. the animations look good because i know assassin's creed when you like meet this the random person they look kind of generic and stuff there was no generic looking people on horizon they all look pretty different and stuff and you could feel the love that they put into that yeah. game it was a mm -hmm. good it was a very good game and as much as i like i wasn't a huge fan of the combat it was everything surrounding it that i see i, I actually like right the combat yeah, the combat for me so far has been pretty fun i i really enjoyed it because i feel like once you got it down you could be you were really good and like mm -hmm. if you like if you could do the slow motion in, mm -hmm. in time and like you know do the rolls and stuff and can, like you know taking over a, a, one exactly. of the beasts for you to have and then you fight with it it was really cool mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun and i have it's like when you get like one of the big guys to fight with you yeah. it's yeah that's good. yeah so for that reason if if we have to pit assassin's creed against horizon i think horizon and zelda go forward yep i agree with the nod to assassin's creed Absolutely. <laughs> so I think if you guys played it, you would really, really like it. Probably. The game is beautiful too. But... Like, like it is such a cool world. I love the ancient because like it's ancient Egypt, but not. But I also ancient, know ancient Egypt. I feel like if I were to go and play Zelda right now, it yeah. would eat my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I played it to, let's see, eight percent completion or something like that, and that's beating the boss and everything. And I had like 60, 70 hours into that game. And that's 8%. And I was just... It's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We have a, we have a list of 10. Um, now we gotta order them. PUBG, Night in the Woods, Super Mario Odyssey, Persona 5, Cuphead, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Destiny 2, Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that list. Yeah. Let's take a very short break um, and come back for round three. The final round. Oh, my God. All right. So now we have to order a list. Um, so I don't know the best way to do this other no. than be like, is this game better than PUBG? Because PUBG is at the top of the list right now. Just no. Just because it was the first one I moved over. It's not the top of my list. No. Okay, so I, I I put PUBG number one on my list only for the reason that of just the magic and everything that happened around the game. It's this number whole, one on my list this whole year. I mean, on our show, it was not every week. Every we week. literally talked about PUBG. Starting, I almost like, composed music for our show. A PUBG hour. The PUBG minute. The PUBG. <laughs> yeah, like literally starting in like I think when you bought it in like April or May. Is like when it really started picking up and i think ever since then for so for months every week we talked about PUBG. i'll still hop into a game and have fun yeah we did we played just the other night and like almost won we got what second third i don't remember i think second you know what i'll say about a that. couple times yeah like it, it's so much fun and i just read saw this today that it is coming to ps4 officially now whenever they fix it for xbox right because <laughs> because sony doesn't do early access things that's yeah. why they didn't get it originally and which i'm not super fun about this but there's apparently a movie already in the works oh, for I, well you mean battle royale yeah, yeah. say well, battle royale that's, that's the movie be, that came like, out like yeah. 20 years ago <laughs> and then, so that's gonna be like and that's what all those like um all the skins the, yeah when the invitational gamescom thing came out that's what those new yeah so like, like this the is skirts and stuff like that yeah like exactly track suit. this is obviously so they, they i even saw that it's i'm okay with PUBG not being the top yeah what i want to say I'm, about that is do we we need to figure out what we want to make this list about is this uh the best game of 2017 or the one that impacted us the most i think because the one that impacted us well, the most. Be maybe a, a little bit combination of, of the two yeah yeah it wasn't necessarily like i love PUBG, so i'm gonna be super critical on yeah. it it wasn't the game itself that made it fun it was the people i was playing with that made yeah. it fun I, and being able to do commentary I don't know, man. and like I, for me like streaming the game was super fun because you can make jokes about it or you can just I think I had more fun playing solo. You can literally play it to be a meme. Solo's solo's a different beast than like playing yeah, with a, a for squad me, I'm or too something. serious when I'm doing it solo. Whereas squad I'm just like having fun. Yeah, like squad mm -hmm. like squad no squad I'm having fun. I'm like running around more like when I probably mm -hmm. shouldn't be and 
then I'm like, oh, I'm like freaked out when I die. You know, exactly. like when I'm playing solo, I said so this doesn't happen when I'm playing like duos or squat. I'm shaking so you're much. That, I'm just especially like, when you're like top ten, you're just like, oh man, uh, it's, it's so nerve wracking. Like your adrenaline like kicks in so much, and like right. what other game has that exactly. like effect on your like your like that's how I autonomic feel nervous it. system than PUBG. Like I'm not like I'm not shaking when I play Cuphead or like maybe with anger or something. But um, <laughs> I like mean, I'm, I'm sitting there and bawling through yeah. Life is Strange, but that's a little. But like, yeah, but like, and then I'm like emotionally touched. But like so Destiny like, Two, like on a raid or something, I'm not like so nervous that I'm gonna like mess up and die or like. But just... then you have to argue with uh, Destiny. Like those raids are just so well done; they're so precise, and like they have their glitch problems. But what is that? Honestly, that's, or I'm worse? gonna put Destiny Two more towards the bottom of this yeah. list for me because yeah, it's the too. same kind of thing it's like honestly i think i'm gonna put destiny 2 yeah, right destiny. at 10 i think i put it on 10 of mine and i did i'm gonna put it right at 10 for me i don't know if you guys want to agree with me on that one i'm not numbering my my personal list right so no but you just just for this you're saying you're wanting it at i think 10. it's i think it's it's bare minimum i think year. i actually totally agree i think destiny, I think yeah, destiny 2 should be number 10 because it was good it but wasn't not, great. It didn't have that wow factor. What, 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 what did I write in here? It didn't have the yeah. It didn't capture the ma the magic of the first one for me. Right. Like I don't know what it was was with the first one. I know it was a, like a bad game. I know it didn't have a lot, lot of content to offer. Blah blah, so, blah blah. Who knows? I played it so much. <laughs> I know. I I don't know what it was about the first one. It just had me coming back every day. Mm. I haven't played Destiny two in like three no. months. But Destiny One had me coming back every day for months on end. I mean, I to get you know literally originally like, like level job. thirty because like you okay. know forever stuck at twenty nine like thing and like doing the raid. Vault of Glass was such a just amazing experience, and yeah. I never had that for Destiny Two. Like playing the story, I'm like this is fun. I like this. You know, it's, it's a really good improvement. I wasn't digging the raid as much. I didn't think it was like honestly that fun. Yes. Yeah, the first, like I said, I've only done the first raid. I didn't even beat it. Yeah, I haven't even finished it just because not enough people. The part but... I, I mean, yeah, like I liked, I liked what part? I don't know. The bathhouse was like, eh. The dark part was fun, which is like the most critical part. People like have of the raid. I thought that was the most fun part that I had. I think the the basketball was the most fun. I the think gauntlet. I had. See, the I never, I never beat fun. the gauntlet. And my experience with the gauntlet has never been positive. I will say, I, there's something special about the first time you run the gauntlet and you like go in and you slam it down, and then you realize, oh my god, I have to do this another four times. Yeah, and <laughs> the gauntlet. Yeah, I do want to say about Destiny because like I've played it a lot. I beat the raid. I haven't beat the second one yet, but on um, the first one, it's just. I love the game so much. I love the raids so much. I mean, oh yeah, I love but the puzzles. Whenever a glitch comes out, I just said they're like I always had to be. You know, Bungie must think glitches are features now because they are so off. Often. They're doing. I, I, they're doing the uh, the Bethesda approach. Well, I, and I, <laughs> it happens. I have to say, well, I have to say because it's such a big game. Something's going to happen wrong, and then they're just like, <laughs> "We have one more. <laughs> we'll fix it eventually." Yeah. And I mean, Vault Glass was right. very obvious for that. Crota was the worst. I mean, the fact that you could... <laughs> I would just jump off the map, sit at the very top, and right, then I would yeah. just be a, switch to Hunter real quick, yeah. and then just slice all the way across. Yeah, and that's how I was able to solo Crota so many times. Uh -huh. But like funny. the fact that you could pull your Ethernet cable, and then he froze down mm -hmm. and stuff on his knee, and you just, I mean, I had so much fun on Crota. Not beating it the normal way. <laughs> I feel like we're just okay. talking about Destiny. Yeah, let's yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so hold on. So and see, we can't talk about that with Destiny see, I don't, too. See, that's, that's my that's my point. Okay. I don't. That's why that, it should stay at the I bottom. I don't feel that way. I, no, Destiny I too. think we all agree it should yeah. be at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Like I think we're we're good with that. Oh. Um. God, this list is tough. Yeah, it is. I look at. I nine. think Night in the Woods nine should be nine. That's what I was thinking too. I was too. just thinking that. <laughs> it, okay. It's a really good game, but it's when I'm seeing it compared game. to these other games, like I it's so tough. Like I mm -hmm. mean, it's so tough to put I know, it down like, there for me. But like, just when makes I, me excited to buy this game when I get home. Yeah, but like when I think Hellblade, though, I'm like, oh, Hellblade is exactly. Just, it's in a league of its own. So I mean, it's just hard. it's either nine is either nine in the woods or Life is Strange. And honestly, I think, I. Uh, This is why I didn't. The, oh, I didn't order my list. I think Life is Strange to be higher than Night in the Woods. I don't know, man. I but I Life never is played Strange Night in the Woods, is very so. like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Night in the Woods is so it's just mystical. It's, see, Night, see, Night in the Woods for me, like, because you're like, oh, I love the like the three, like the beginning and stuff. Like it's that. the surprises in it. The man. fact I was like, I was playing it. I'm kind of like, this game's good. 
I don't, I'm like not really like it, like, like not loving it, like you were saying, and like Jesse was saying, he loved it, until I got to like the rhythm section, until I was like playing like a dungeon crawler all of a well, sudden. About like, like, what is this game? When I played this, I remember I was talking to Matt, and I was just like, about an hour, an hour and a half in, I was just like, Matt, I have not stopped smiling since the beginning. It's the charm that really makes yeah. it so, so charming. special. And so there, for me, there is, there's these two moments um see it's a certain point you have to choose who you're going to hang out with mm -hmm. there's like three choices you get to choose who you're going to hang out with for me that was great who'd you pick i so i chose i hung out with greg and bia so i've been doing bia a lot mm -hmm. um and there so there was a moment with greg that was just so magical for me uh -huh. like i was just sitting there um and there, there's a, an amount of like the human existence frailty. Well, no, some of, some of the dialogue felt. in this game is so smart. Like, mm -hmm. like when it, like it just flashes by, and like what what did I just read? And I, I was like, I have to like think. I'm like, wow, that was like and, really profound for like. Well, a, and so I don't know. Like, there's like a certain amount of like being stuck in a small town mm -hmm. that like and you really I don't know. That with I just, you like, experienced oh absolutely well and, when you get into her story that's why i connected like, with bia the most i think i feel like that's like the lost relationship that they you need to build because you're still friends with greg greg is like happy to see you greg stuff. is incredible and greg has a great like depressing story oh, too. i'm sure and that's and why i need to play, this. That's why I'm gonna play this game again just to like do this exactly like, i'm really enjoying the bia one because like you weren't really friends once you came back and like then you like you know convinced her to go to the mall with you that one time. I don't know if you guys did that segment at I all. Did. They did a good job and referencing I, these things. You do I like, loved it. Too. Like you know when you like you know you shoplift and it's like oh we're we're home free now <laughs> and it's just it was it's very good. I don't know as somebody who has been trying to leave Boise since I turned eighteen yeah. <laughs> and has yet to be able to get out. There's like some of that like i just really connected with life is strange i love i love the characters um but i don't know i just i i didn't like i'm gonna go back and play night in the woods again mm -hmm. i'm not gonna play life is strange again i think night in the woods goes above life is strange yeah. i'm okay with life is strange being number nine i want to see night in the woods higher up mm -hmm. it's a fantastic game and I, 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 I didn't come in thinking I would say that. But. <laughs> I guess what it comes down to is like, do you like the characters of Life is Strange or? And I do. I love the characters in Life is Strange. I think I love Chloe. Right. She's and such a strong character. I guess I said that wrong. What I mean is, do you like the characters based on what you've known from the the first game, or is it a? standalone like you like these characters because of this game well i mean that's the cool thing about this one mm -hmm. it's like again i didn't like i didn't feel the way about chloe like i do oh okay like in the first one as i do now because i see more of right. her arch like her connection with her father is a uh -huh. big part of this um and in addition to that like you you don't meet rachel at all yeah in the first game and so being able to like and i like how they go say, I, haven't, I haven't i haven't beat the first game yet which i really need to you absolutely yeah, you do i know mm -hmm. you keep telling me this i just don't it's know one why. of my favorite games of all time absolutely. um but like the whole rachel things i obviously know what you're talking about i like how that's that's like a thing in this new one mm -hmm. in this prequel i guess right which is super cool it Dude. has to be because the the first game is around like is very heavily dependent on rachel yeah and you just don't know why yet well let's take a look at number eight then so then, is that where Night of the Woods is going to fall to, or do you think that should be thrown up higher? What are other options? I'm, are you deleting these hmm. as we go? You have PUBG, Super Mario Odyssey, Persona yeah, I guess 5, I, Cuthbert, um, no, I want Hellblade, uh, Horizon, or Zelda. Yes. This is tough. This is really this tough. This is really mm -hmm. tough. These are very good games. It was a hell of a year for video games mm -hmm. i just want to make sure i have that list okay um we can get rid of life is strange um, i think horizon exists up here what yeah what 
I really do. Um, no. Have you beat it yet? No. See? That should be, like, top three. You think? I, I agree with you. It's, it's top three. Okay, sure. so where do you want to put Cuphead? I think Cuphead's a solid, going to be a solid five or six. I don't know. You beat Cuphead? No. <laughs> so that should not be a requirement. For I know, but like, yeah, because but Mario, I think, Zelda, I'm the only one who's beat that one. But I think, so. I mean, for like Horizon especially, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, once you beat Horizon, like the final, like, final scene, it's, you're just like, it's like, it blew yeah, me but away. Yeah, but I'm trying to think about this, almost any of I know, but like, right, I'm trying to think of these games as a whole. I think Horizon like, needs to be high. Sure, Horizon has like several moments that are like really great. And we have but to think of this what about the in the middle fifteen hours? I was never bored in the I game. I never got bored. Even like getting lost in like side quests and mm -hmm. stuff, and then being able to just go right back to main story yeah. and be like, "Oh, I'm not even." Well, bored. I love like hey, like go do a side quest, and I go do like something for the hunting lodge, and then go, you know, because that's that's mm -hmm. one of my biggest things with open world games is like. Or like even like World of Warcraft or something. I'm so caught up on side quests mm -hmm. when I realize, oh crap, I haven't even done a main story in mm -hmm. six, seven hours, and I'm like, oh, I'm already burnt out. So I'm like, never gonna finish the story. Right. No, I had a, this had a never good had mix. that issue with Horizon. This had a really good mix of side quests and yeah. the main quest. That, and I think I don't know. For me, being able to play it on a PS4 Pro, yeah, makes it even better. Okay. Like, you're getting HDR. You're getting all that stuff. You're I mean, yeah, I'm just on the, regular PlayStation, the, and it still blew me away. The aesthetics of it, it's just so beautiful, and it just mm -hmm. works really well with the story. It's yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, the big thing is going to be, some of us are going to have to be compromised, because, like, I'm going to sit there, I will sit there and say Persona 5 deserves to be number one or two, but I know you guys haven't played that, and that's a niche game. Because, honestly, I was going to say so, Persona 5 is probably going to be, like, my eight or seven here, and like, because I don't I would really punch you in the five. face for that, so... I don't know. Like, we're gonna have to make these compromises on these mm -hmm. games. I say, I'm willing to lose PUBG to the bottom of this list. I can do that. I can be okay with mm -hmm. PUBG at the bottom of the list. Yeah. I, uh, you know, because it's, it's, a cool it's not necessarily the game; it's the the friends you're playing with yeah. that and make and that and game just, fun. And just everything kind of falls that into just the destiny and, category. enveloped yep. around PUBG. Exactly. Like, just all the stories, like the lawsuits against you know Fortnite and just <laughs> you know Doctor Disrespect and you know some peace his career yeah no joke and you know let's put PewDiePie PUBG and eight. stuff it's just okay it was it, it was yeah but like, as, as a game the game's really really fun yep oh absolutely but it's a community that makes that game yeah. what it is and it like if right. you look in the graphics eh, game most of the gameplay <laughs> i shot them in the head it didn't register in the head you know yeah. <laughs> okay um now I'm going to say, Super Mario Odyssey was fantastic, but it wasn't the best Mario game I played. So you're, were you thinking that's going to be the I'm last one? I'm thinking it's going to be a little lower, just because like I love that game, and for people who are completionists, they're going to sit there and love it. They're going to love all the things in this game, but it still follows that formula. You go out, you collect the, in this game, power moons instead of stars, and then you move on. So it still follows that formula. It doesn't break new ground. It just polishes the same ground. I'm just like looking at the group we're in. I just like I don't think Super Mario is gonna make it to the top. So I think you're probably this is probably right. a good spot mm -hmm. for it. I mean, we we can change. You're not talking about breaking new ground. Mario has nipples. <laughs> Come on, he's always had them. He just showed them off. And you, he's no longer a plumber. True. <laughs> Where did that come from? Okay, All so right. let's put Super Mario there. So we're getting to the point where arguments will be made. Yeah. I honestly still believe Horizon exists in this area. Oh, I can't, no, I can't do it. See, I'm going to have to agree with Matt. Top five. It has to be at least top at five. At least for me. top five. Okay, no doubt. I'm okay with I'm I'm okay with five. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see a lower. I don't want to see it beat Hellblade. <laughs> I don't want to see. Horizon I agree with Hellblade. that, but I can easily put Hellblade number one, and then put Horizon two for me so easily. Now I want to go ahead and go back to what Matt said about uh, Horizon, though. I think Horizon because should be like Cuphead. I absolutely. <laughs> I agree. I'll agree there. Um, Horizon, Horizon should be Cuphead. Cuphead. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> moment <laughs> like, i agree with matt on horizon though just because like it was a fantastic game i haven't completed it yet but that's the reason that i put it low because i keep wanting to go back to it 
and then I just have all these these games that are on this list that I go to in. I don't like I I don't go I don't lay in bed at night and think eh, I need to go finish Horizon. Yeah. You know, and again, I think it all goes back to the combat. I just wasn't a huge fan of it. It was like, I've always, all right, I've like now figured of, out I, I can like hide style. in this bush and just sneak attack on this, sneak attack on this. More bushes, <laughs> think, more sneak attacks. I think that's one of that the bush. beauties of it is like learning how you can do certain things in that game. Some of it may seem repetitive. I mean, that's how like Destiny is, I guess. But it's like once you're learning like different ways to mm -hmm. go about it, it make that's what makes it challenging. Like I guarantee, me, if I like replay the game now and like like the whole beginning segment when you're learning how to play, I'd play like go like totally different. Cause, like I know I learned a different way to do something. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we could probably think, put Cuphead number six though. If you think Horizon doesn't beat Cuphead. I think it's between, for number six, it's between Cuphead and Night in the Woods. I honestly think it's going to be Night in the Woods. For me, Night in the Woods, Cuphead, and I'll put Horizon at four. I would put Night That's of fair. the Woods at five. So you think Night of the Woods is better than Cuphead? Yeah, because like I got really mad at Cuphead, and I loved it every second of it, but I sat there and I enjoyed the story of Night in the Woods so much more. That makes sense, and especially because you guys' discussion with Night in the Woods, how emotionally backing like, yeah, you are Night with the, Woods the is characters. Good. It's uh -huh. really good. I can see how that could be Cuphead. I think right. Cuphead is probably like a super solid game, Yeah, but it's just not that. The thing I'm going to go against Cuphead is... When it first was announced, I thought it was going to be something like Mega Man, where it was platformer, simple shooting, stuff like that. It's a very spammy game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just hold... You literally hold trigger the entire time. You literally hold trigger and you shoot the whole time and then you jump around. It's all about the jumping. That's it. Yeah. Like, you so if you you're could like, like, just let's have a setting of so always shooting... I, I had <laughs> that initial mindset of, oh, it's going to be like Mega Man. But no, there's a but little less thought of when you're also exactly. not colorblind, so you can see the the dots. Yeah, <laughs> you have to carry off of. Are we gonna put Cuphead at six? Yeah, yeah. I can say that. It was a fun game. It was. I it, love the game. It's a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. Beautiful game. Super unique. Super well done. Mm -hmm. I mean, the work they put into it's it. It's incredibly just, tight for what they did. For how a, small two man, of a, a two man team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it was, was like it three, three, three dudes. Yeah. One person did music. One person did artwork. One person did coding. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, absolutely. The, there is nothing not I mean, incredible about this. When this when this first graced, I think it was E three like twenty. 14, oh, 13. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, it, for like, it for like two seconds on Xbox's Xbox. thing, it was, everyone's like, what was that? <laughs> what is this game? And, and then we didn't know for years. Right. Oh, <laughs> on Xbox. They keep doing that too. But anyways. And now at this point, I'd say Night in the Woods would probably be a great number five. I don't know. I The more I think about it, the more I kind of want to see Night in the Woods higher. <laughs> For me, my, it's like I'm the gonna... one that like I look at the remaining list and really have super strong feelings about. The one, see, I think There's five. Three of those in there for me. I know, <laughs> and I know I'm gonna say, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but Persona Five. I will beat you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I will. I think understand Horizon it, beats Persona. I do. I do too. Personally, I... Persona Five is pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Music's amazing. I, I never felt when, I, when yeah. I first saw the trailer for Horizon in E3, like 20, I think it was 2015 or whatever, I was just, I was blown away. I was like, this game looks incredible. I've been waiting for it this, all this whole time. I never was like that with Persona. But like, I was. I know you were. And that's the thing. That we can't base it off that. We I have guess. to base it off the game. And I will understand this is a niche genre. So I will go ahead and say, yes, I can put it at number five and... I'll feel good that it got here with a group of people who don't really play JRPGs. I mean, do you? Yeah. Okay, so. so I have between the these past. guys, though. Yeah, I mean, and, I but like my, my spend JRPGs is Final Fantasy. Uh huh. And that's it. But I will say, Persona 5 really took that Night in the Woods feel. They did the same sort of thing. You're making these relationships with the characters as you go. And they do that throughout the entire game, the 60, 70, up to 120 hour game. And you're doing that the entire time, getting to know these characters. That's why it, it got to me. I sit there and like, I want to know more about these characters. And by the end, I'm sitting there like, I love this game. Yeah, I just, I never saw it and thought mm -hmm. to myself, I absolutely need to play this game. Yeah. 
in Horizon. And don't years. get me wrong, like I like <laughs> I played it at your place, uh-huh. enjoyed it, and I think like again, the style is phenomenal. Right. The music's great. Um I just like even after that experience, I'm just like me. Like I don't want like I don't feel the need to go buy that game. I'm kind of I kind of agree with Matt on that one. Like it's I'll it's a game. Number five, like I it's, said. it's not a game of that I'm looking back at 2017. Like oh, I really wish I got this game. It's it's one of those. I'm like, I wish I would have played it. I mean, because I am borrowing it from my roommate. It's so. it's it's one of the games I wish I would have. You know, if I picked it up, I wish I picked it up when it came out. Because now to me, I'm just kind of like, I don't know if I'm really like if it's worth me going back when I have so many other games to play it to go back to. Especially when a bunch of games are coming out mm-hmm. this spring. Yeah, I mean, I still want to you know play the new Wolfenstein. I still want to, I still want to, you know, do Call of Duty World War II a little no. bit, but I'm mean, I want to play just no, to... I did it. Not with it. I still, but I still want to play Shadow I'm going to play, I'm going to play Call of Duty over Persona still. And I still, want to, just, I still want to play Shadow of War. I'm just more my style of RPG. Yeah. I'm more of a Western RPG like player than over the JRPG. And that's why for me, Horizon's going to win because I like that style of open world. You go explore, you know, you level up. Kind of thing. I think Horizon Zero Dawn wins this list. So, and the reason I say that is because I feel like we've argued more about Horizon. Well, we haven't got to Hellblade yet. You have not talked about Zelda. Either. We haven't talked about Zelda. No, we, yet. but that's the thing. I everybody feels so strongly about Horizon. Like I like it's I so don't want, beautiful. It, it, I don't want to take away from oh Hellblade. God. Zelda the or Nine in the, the Mechanics was everything. Well, I think Nine in the Woods is going to fall with four. Number four. I will here. say, same with Zelda though. Like your feeling on uh, Horizon Zero Dawn yeah. was my feeling on Zelda. I'm sure I'd probably get the same yeah. feeling if I played exactly Zelda. I just yeah. oh absolutely won't justify buying a Switch personally. But if I, I were to make it to Switch, I would be. I that's know. the thing. Like for me, like absolutely. even having not played a ton of Zelda, like I feel just watching the industry as a whole like surround that game mm-hmm. like i feel that's probably top three absolutely i think our four should be night in the woods i'd say that's a good place mm-hmm. i know it's hard but it's really tough for I, me i mean as much as we're because pushing? it was just such a special thing yeah we didn't get anything else like it like like horizon and hellblade are similar in a lot of ways um like hellblade is special because of the audio and stuff like i Mm -hmm. totally get that and the way it explores mental illness is probably better than any other game like i I totally understand that Mm -hmm. but night in the woods i I just connected with that game see i i haven't connected as much as as you did like i think i'm such a depressed millennial that's maybe that's the thing i don't i guess i like my life i guess i don't know sorry i hate my life (laughs) but for me hellblade was one of the best experiences i've had this year and like ever in video games my from the first minute i started that game i was like what's happening and like with the voices talking to you and it's just the game looks so good you have no idea what's happening it was i think i fought really hard to get it to this point what nine the woods yeah yeah i think this is where it goes honestly i could i honestly would have said like maybe you can put in persona f4 and nine the woods of five just for jason's benefit what sorry putting persona at four and nine the woods of five but i, I think know. persona five is just so incredible <laughs> just, I mean, if they're similar to the character development stuff, yeah, that's the only I would thing agree, I'll say. I would is, agree with Austin on this one. The only thing with Night in the Woods that I say would step above Persona is their characters do have that relatability a lot better. Mm-hmm. But I just Persona Five has so much more surrounding it as well. That's so good. That's why I would put it above. Okay, and the, how I'm how I'm judging this. Especially with Hellblade and Horizon, it was a game I played and did not want to stop playing. Nine That's the, how I felt about Night in the Woods. But Night in the Woods, for me, I would play, <laughs> like even yesterday, I think it was literally yesterday we were talking, we're both playing Night in the Woods, and, I, and we're like, well, you want to play something else? Yeah, let's go play something else. I didn't step away from it. I think I went to bed at 6 a.m. one night because I couldn't get off of Night in the Woods. See, I, I, it does not have that draw to me, and for that reason, I can't put it, for me, I cannot put it above, at least, you know, 
Horizon or Hellblade. And I honestly, I have to say Breath of the Wild for that matter because I know Breath of the Wild will suck me in <laughs> the same way Horizon did. And uh, for that reason, I'm like putting, I'm like, I think Night of the Woods is as far as it's going to get at number four. I know. It, I don't think I'm going to argue. I don't think I can present anything that makes it convince the people in this room to go past four. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I'll put it there. I, for me, it's one of the top, mm-hmm. top three easily this year. But I think as a collective whole, I'm just not going to get it above that. Mm-hmm. And so. I mean, I could still see Night in the Woods bouncing a couple spots with Persona and Cuphead here on this list. For me personally. Oh, hold on. Chat is putting their inputs in for something. What are they saying? I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> what are they saying? Saying, uh, you you've beaten you've that. beaten it already. I got you that for Christmas, and then with a weird emoji. I Sorry. think they're talking about Night in the Woods. I don't know. I don't know who that person. Oh, is. Oh, who got a dank game for Christmas? I got that for Christmas. What was the name? Uh, Retro Fox. That's my brother. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, I did beat it. It was really good. I loved it. There we go. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, well. Yeah, he said hi, Jason. (laughs) I'm actually okay with that. Um, You know, uh, sorry, I'm going to be late. (laughs) Um, So here we go. Top three. This is the real question. Are we going to follow the the curve and put Zelda at number one? I don't think. I'm going to present my argument before you guys say anything. Okay. Because I'm the only one who's played this. Zelda presented itself in a way that I have not played a game before. It was not linear. It did not tell you what to do. That's really the main draw I had to it. It was because, truly open. Yeah. Because like you said already, when we when you go into that game, you could literally walk over there in your underwear and go fight Ganon. And you could win that way. It's going to suck, but you could. Well, I've seen people do it. And the thing is, throughout the entire game, you get to choose when you want to finish the game. I finished it after having like 12, 13 hearts. And at that point, I could have gone so much longer. I could have gotten every heart. I could have gotten every Korok seed. I could have gotten everything. But that was the point where I was just like, you know, I'm going to do this. And the thing is, it's not a game that's over once I beat Ganon. Because I sit there and I go back to it and I go back to it. And now DLC's out and I'm going back to it. And this is a game that I've not put down because I think it is that sort of draw. Where I see Horizon is it's more linear, and it's a great story. But my thing is, we have a lot of these great stories coming out. Mm-hmm. And like any one of these, you could argue for their story. You could argue Night in the Woods story. You could argue, argue Persona 5. You can argue any one of these. PUBG? But, <laughs> PUBG story. <laughs> but I will say, when it comes down to Zelda, it's just it presented itself in a way that I feel like differentiates it from the rest of this list. That is my argument, and I know it might not change your guys' mind, but you know, I know I think you that pains me that you say that because that that makes me really want to get a switch just for Zelda, yeah. and I, I and I, I will I, not do it. I will literally fail classes and not go to Overwatch <laughs> practice to be playing this game right. because I I am one of those people that, like I said before, I'm a hundred percent around games. Yep, I'm, yeah. I'm with you on that one. Achievements, trophies, mm-hmm. whatever. I will hundred percent a game. Right, and. Uh, when you say that, I would I, I never do. stop playing the game because I'd want to 100% it. I don't want, okay. like, and I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from Zelda. I think, like, again, I've, I've stated I think it's super special. I just have a hard time wanting to give our number one spot to a game only one of us has played. I understand that. That is where I understand. Um, whereas um, Hellblade, um, I think... Again, great game. That's kind of why I think Horizon deserves to be number one. I think Horizon is something that we've all played. We've all enjoyed. We all see what's special about that game. Um, and I think as a collective whole, I think it's the closest thing that all of us have done. Yeah, I'm going to take a step back because I understand that. <laughs> um, like, Don't get me wrong, if I play Breath of the Wild, I'd probably be there with you. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably be like, I, I, absolutely. I, 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 I bet if I play it too. Number one game. But, yeah. yeah. I say I, I say my top three. But you gotta, keep, but in, you gotta keep in mind, a, a lot of people have not played Breath of the Wild because a lot of people don't own Switches. 
I see a lot more than you think do now. But I, I, now, a lot more yeah. people have played Horizon over Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I can I guarantee that. I bet people are probably still going through Breath of the Wild. Yeah, just because they just got a Switch for Christmas. Yeah, but... looking at what we have left, I present Horizon, Breath of the Wild, Hellblade. I will say yeah, absolutely. <sighs> I agree. I agree. Hellblade this was a great, just great game. And I honestly, I think I, don't know, I think there's another one, a sequel coming out at one point. It's kind of how they ended the game. I don't know. Right. Honestly, mm-hmm. the ending of that game just blew my mind. And I had no idea what happened, so I really like just don't know what's going on. I literally just sat there like, what? What is like my reaction might be inside. Hang on, did I was you just say like, Horizon Hellblade Zelda, or did you say Horizon Zelda Hellblade? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like, like my reaction when I beat Hellblade. <laughs> I just saw that. Whoa! <laughs> it's like Horizon when I beat Horizon. It was just like it was like a good ending. I'm like oh, that's really like that was like fitting that that's how it uh-huh. ended. And then obviously they do like the, the sequel bait for it, which mm-hmm. is which is obvious, and it's going to get a sequel. I'm pretty sure Hellblade. It was just like what just happened? Uh-huh. Like like even you were like, or oh, do we just keep fighting? Like uh-huh. and like it just and then the very end like the final right. cutscene. I was just like what. <laughs> what, what I'm so confused and I don't know if like if that's ever gonna like that is a game I want it to stand alone like I don't want them to ever create a sequel because that's well because it deserves I mean, to be on its own I can I want them to make another game like like this but like a different game because mm-hmm. I know they, they originally made what Heavenly Sword or yeah what? it's a completely different universe which is more like a God of War style of game uh-huh. which is funny because it's like it's really like lends itself to like what was popular at the time because now this is very Dark Soulsy right Slow combat kind of thing. I don't know. Okay. That's a top 10. This looks like a top 10 list. We do. Um, Unless we have any last minute, I can't take this. Roblox, number one game. (laughs) (laughs) Overwatch. Um, Well, that's always number one. Right. Papa Jeff. Um, (laughs) So from 10 to number one, we have Destiny 2. Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Player Unknowns, Battlegrounds, which I walked into this building thinking was going to win. Yeah, same. Honestly, um, same. Super Mario Odyssey, Cuphead, Persona 5, Night in the Woods, Hellblade, Sinuous Sacrifice, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Horizon Zero Dawn. A PlayStation exclusive gets number one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. So it looks like we, we've we done it. We got a list of 53 games down um, to 20 and then down to 10 in order. It only took us two or so hours. Yeah, exactly two hours. I hope I still have my parking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, my parking expired a long time ago. Well... After five, they stop monitoring. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's it, guys. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you agree with us, let us know. If you don't agree, what is your top ten? I guess let us know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will. I will go ahead and get this published. Um, do all of that, and then our top ten lists are coming up. Yeah, I'm not have to write more on that, but I can do that. Let me get more, a little more in depth. Um, if you liked our like this show, you can uh, you know always follow us and get you more. You can get more things. content of us. <laughs> our beautiful voices. But anyways, and I think this does it people. for our top ten game of the year. Uh, I want to thank everybody who is in this room right now. Uh, Jason, who's been with us from the very beginning. Um, DJ, who has not been with us from the beginning, but has also been doing a fantastic job over the computer. Ye. Um, and. Austin, of course. The the drunken dream has come to reality, right? Yeah. Our bar talk has is turned to this. Look at that. Wow. Thank you for listening, everybody. Uh Twitch viewers, thank you for joining. We'll see you next time. <laughs>